it. I want to show you a video. I want to show you a video. It's a Lebanese ad. There's no Arabic words in it. Most of it is in English, but it's so funny because it's in a car rental office and it talks about also cars being insured. And it also, although it's in English, but it's the, the way Lebanese people speak English. And it shows more about the culture of Lebanon as well. Yalla, let's watch it. Hello? Hello? Kurt? I'm going to give you a sedan car. Yes. Full insurance, Akid. Uh, what is your religion, Kurt? Excuse me? Religion. Um, Christian, Muslim. I'm Christian. Okay. I have the perfect car for you. This is your car. This is part of your insurance. At night, there is no street light. No problem. Saint Rita will light the roads for you. Fi andak Margeries, Saint George. If you're driving on autostrad, drive and don't think about potholes. My pothole, he will protect you. And if you feel lost, there are no signs. No signs. Ensa signs. Mar Antonio Selbedwene. He will find the way for you. Salib ida kawija. Oh, don't worry. Yal. <laughs> so, okay, there are some Arabic little uh, phrases here and there he's using. They're very nice to know. I'll play it one more time. Uh, and uh, we can understand what they're saying. So this also, of course, shows the culture of how religious people are in Lebanon, whether you are Christian or Muslim, they are like, usually the norm is to be like strong believers and you know, if you're if you have a car, the first thing they do, they we say, uh, for example, if Bahar bought a car, I say, Zawarte, Zawarte, Siyara. Literally, Zawarte, did you make it visit? Zawarte, Siyara. Literally, did you make it visit? Which means, did you visit? Like the first place they go to is the church. Did you make it visit the church? to get a blessing, okay? So that's when you say زورت السيارة or for example عم بزور السيارة I am making the car visit which means you go to a church or something, okay? You can say بالكنيسة in the church, بالكنيسة or usually they also go to أو بحريسة حريسة is the um, let me show you who's Harissa, is the Our Lady of Lebanon, and all the tourists go to it and see it. It's a very famous place. Like it's the female equivalent to a, to a, what's it called? I forgot. In Brazil. Okay. So that's it. Um, that's Sayyidat Harissa. So people sometimes when they buy a car, they go to their Bizauru Siyara. Okay. Biharisa or Bilknisi. Knisi, yani church. So let me play it one more time. And uh, the little uh, words he says in between, I will explain them. Okay? Yalla. I don't know what he said. I'm not sure about how he continued the sentence. But he said, Khalli, let. Khalli, abid. Let, abid. Abid is the name of a guy. خلي عبد يتأكد يتأكد to make sure <laughs> to make sure خلي عبد يتأكد to make sure is a if something something I didn't hear the rest so خلي عبد يتأكد if I want to say it to Bahar I, about Bahar let Bahar make sure خلي عبد uh, خلي Bahar sorry تتأكد she makes sure why am I not saying ptit akkad or bit akkad? Shubaha. Because of khalli. Eh, hey, after khalli, we have to drop the b. So khalli bahar tit akkad. Not khalli bahar ptit akkad. Okay? So khalli bahar tit akkad is a, for example, wuslo, uh, let's say, wuslo, they arrived, lgrad, the stuff, the stuff arrived. Let bahar make sure uh, if the stuff arrived. Okay, خلي بهار تتأكد. So here he said something like that. He's speaking to him in the Hello? 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 Kurt? 
I'm going to give you a sedan car. Yes. Full insurance, أكيد. Uh, what is full insurance? أكيد. What's أكيد? We, it was in the vocab. For sure. Of course, yes. So he's speaking English, but throwing him Lebanese words as if he will understand the other one. What is your religion, Kurt? Excuse me? Religion. Um, Christian, Muslim. I'm Christian. Okay. He's like, okay, Ashukhi Fen. This is really funny. Okay, Ashu Khifen. Khifen, Yani scared. It's exactly the same as Khayif, by the way, the same synonym. Scared. It's an adjective. Okay, Ashu. Ashu. Literally, on what? On what are you scared? Literally, that's what it means. But it means, what are you scared of? Like, okay, all right, just say it. Like, you know, because the guy was hesitant. If somebody is hesitant and telling you something like slowly, you want to tell them, fine, what are you scared of? Like, just say it or something. You say, Ashu Khifin, Ashu Khifin, or Ashu Khif. It's the same. If I want to say it to Bahar, to you, Bahar, what should I say? Okay, fine. Ashu Khifin, like what for what are you scared of there it's a way to say there's nothing to be scared of like just say it basically okay okay or so i'm saying there's nothing scary okay yeah religion um, christian muslim i'm christian okay i have the perfect car for you this is your car. Tla khayit kurt. Tla. Tla khayit kurt. Tla. Tla. Usually, in a normal context, it means go up. It's the imperative form. Tla. 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 Okay, these are the imperative verbs. Tla. 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 Go up. But when you say to someone like this and in your car, you're saying tla. Tla. Or tla. Yani what? Hop. Hop on, you say in English, or get on the car. Like get in the car, jump in the car. Get on the car, get in the car. Pla, pla, yeah, and ride the car. Hop on. I think you say hop on. Okay. Pla, pla, pla. Here he said pla, chayi kurt. Like get, get on, get in the car, brother. Chayi. Okay. Kurt. Like it's just the way. Like you know, in English, when they say, "Hey, come on, bro or brother." You know, in that case, خيي. it's not like he, he's really the brother. So Khay is brother, and خيي is my brother. So Tla خيي. Hey, yalla, get in the car, mate. Like it translates like that as mate. Okay. For you. This is your car. Tla خيي kurt. Tla. This is part of your insurance at night. Okay. What you hear in the background, we call it. Tertile, tertile, tertile is not a song. It's the, the how do you call them in in the church? The ones we sing in the church. I forgot how we call them in English. The songs that they sing in the church. They are called. I forgot. I will check it now. Let's check it now. Actually. <clears throat> Hymns, yes, hymns, I think they call them. The, the songs that they sing in the church, okay? So I wrote taratil, tretil, we pronounce it in the Lebanese dialect, in the plural. In the singular, it's tertile, tertile, tretil, tertile, tretil. Whoever's watching, make sure you're saying these words out loud, okay? So tertile and tretil. So the one in the background is a song. It's a very famous hymn, not a song, that they sing in the church or during like uh, some holy month, okay? This is part of your insurance at night. There is no street light, no problem. Santrita will light the roads for you. So Santrita is also very loved in Lebanon, okay? So these are part of culture. It's nice to know them. So lots of Christians, they love Santrita. Like they pray to her a lot. They do like many prayers so that she makes their... Uh, um, wishes come true uh, and they do what we call nidr 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 is when you know like uh, how can I say they do things like that a lot here by the way in Lebanon yeah nidr or uh, nidr is the noun but if you were saying I am in a nidr you can say Anna nidr or nedra 
I am the one who does a nidr, which means, oh, how can I say it in English? Okay, I'll explain it. Okay, it's for example, uh, uh, it's like you're making a deal with God. You're saying, okay, okay, God, if I pass my exams, uh, I'm going to pray for you. So I pass my exams. And if I do, I'm going to pay $100 to the poor. And if I pay my exams, I make sure to go pay $100 to the poor. So that's called a nidr. The action of it is nidr. But if you are the person who is in that, you say ana nidr or ana nidra, la, for, for who? You choose the saint. For example, ana nidra, la, saint, rita, for example. Okay? Uh, you see what I mean? And a lot of women and girls in Lebanon, they have the, word, the, the name Rita. Okay, so Ana Nedr or Ana Nedra, La, Saint Rita, or uh, Saint is the, obviously not the Arabic word, but we use, if it's a male uh, saint, we say Mar, and then we give, for example, Marius, Saint Joseph. And in Lebanon, Mar Sherbil, I feel like I'm giving a religion lesson. Mar Sherbil is very famous and very loved as well. People love him. They come from all over the world to go visit him. Mar Sherbil. Okay. So you can say, Ana Nedra la Mar Sherbil. I am in a nidr with Mar Sherbil. Like I'm, I made a deal with Mar Okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> there is no street light. No problem. Saint Rita will light the roads for you. Fi andak marjiris. Fi andak. You have. Fi andak. It's like, you know, the way he said it, fi andak. You know, when sometimes you're doing a sale and you're buying, you're selling, I don't know, clothes, shoes, something. You're saying, fi andak this red one, fi andak this blue one, fi andak. It's like, you know, although he's just saying, you have, fi andak. Or you can just say, andak. But the way he says it, it sounds really like a salesperson, salesman, selling clothes or something. You know, he's showing a collection of things. And actually, he's here showing the collection of saints, basically. I think he said Marjiris. Marjiris, St. George. We call it Jiris. Jiris is George, basically. So, Marjiris. You have Marjiris. You don't have to worry, okay? It will light the roads for you. Marjiris, St. George. If you're driving on autostrade, drive and don't think about Okay, so he's saying if you're driving on autostrade, on autostrade. So in Lebanon, you will use a lot on autostrade on the highway. If you call me and say, Why, Nick? I'm on autostrade. I'm on the Okay, on autostrade. Okay, a lot we will use it. So he said to him, If you're driving on autostrade, he doesn't say on the highway. So he threw a Lebanese way of saying something. So al autostrad, for example, fi ktir ajja, there's a lot of traffic. Al autostrad, liom. Today there is a lot of traffic on the highway. Fi ktir ajja, ajja, yeah, the traffic jam. Ajja al autostrad, liom. There is a lot of traffic jam on the highway today. Okay. Like Marjorie's, Saint George. If you're driving on autostrade, drive and don't think about potholes. So you see, drive and So you see, why did he say drive and then enter? He could have, let's say, let's say in Arabic, we say su means drive. Su. Okay, drive. In the feminine form, it's su. -e. It's an imperative verb, drive. Su o, drive in the plural form. For example, I could say su. And all of these, I can say amahlak, slowly. On your slowness. That's what literally it means. On your slowness. Amahlak. Drive on your slowness, which means drive slowly. Su amahlak. And if I'm saying it to you, Bahar, I say su e amahlik. And if I'm saying it to more than one person, I say su o amahlkun. Of course, on your slowness. Amahlkun. Amahlak. Amahlik. Amahlkun. You have to also change the kun. Amahlak. Amahlik. And mahilkun slowly, okay. So <clears throat> so I can just say so, but here he said so enta. Why did he put the enta in there? So these are the little details in a language that give an implication of a meaning, even if it's not direct. It's like hidden meaning or like just these little details that are not 
part of the words or the language, but it's just some something you understand be, just because you're a native speaker. So here, for example, if he just said so, I would have understood. Drive. drive and don't think about pot. But he said drive and you drive, you just drive. It's a way to say, don't worry, you just drive. You know, just don't worry. So because he said the enta after, it's so enta, khalas. It's none of your business sometimes you say to someone, okay? If I say, for example, I don't know, Scott, shut up. Scott enta, like something like, if I put the enta after, there's stress on the enta. In this case, for example, it gave the connotation, oh, just don't worry about it. You just drive. You, your job is to drive, not to worry about something else. You see what I mean? Drive and don't think about potholes, my potholes. He will... Yeah, he said potholes, my potholes. Why the ma? When we say ma in between, it's a way to say, like in English, maybe, maybe you say potholes and stuff like that. Hmm? Here he said potholes, ma potholes, that ma, just before we repeat the word potholes again, kind of translates as stuff like that. Okay? For example, uh, if I want to talk about, um, uh, if I, if I don't know, if the if a guy is like you know surrounded with girls all the time, and I'm looking at him in the party, I say to him, "Shoo, you're surrounded by girls and stuff like that." I don't know if they say in English stuff like that. I can say to him, "Shoo, muhat." Uh, I wouldn't say Mohad, I would just say Shoo, Banet, Ma Banet, Banet, Ma Banet, you know? Like I'm saying the word twice and I'm inserting the Ma in between. So here he said, you know, don't worry, potholes and stuff like that. Potholes, Ma potholes. Okay, that Ma with a repetition. Okay? Drive and don't think about potholes, Ma potholes. He will protect. And if you feel lost, there are no signs. No signs. Insa signs. Insa signs. Insa, forget. Okay? Ensa, forget. But it's a way to say also, don't worry about it. Also, so when I say to someone, hey, Ensa, it's a way to say, oh, forget about it as a way it's not it's not happening. It's not going to happen. And I don't dream about it. Ensa, Ensa. Okay? So Ensa, forget. Forget about things. Forget about yours. And then he said, there's no signs. True signs. What signs? Ensa. Forget it. Forget it. It's non-existent. Okay? Ensa. Antonius El Bedouane, he will find the way for you. Antonius El Bedouane, he will find. Mar Antonius El Bedouane, he will. Hey, Mar Antonius El Bedouane. Sometimes when people lose things, I think it was Mar Antonius, they pray for him to find what they lost. You know? So that's why he's saying if you lose your way, you have Mar Antonius El Bedouane, Mar Bar Antonius El Bedouane, you can he will find you the way. Okay, because usually when people lose things in Lebanon, they like to pray to Maram Tantus, okay, which is like Antonius, Saint Antonio, or something like that. Okay, but he said something else we use a lot, and moms say it to us a lot. Insa signs, Mar Antonius El Bedouane, he will find the way for you. Salib Idak Awajak, don't worry, yell. Salib Idak Awajak, Salib Idak, cross your hand on your face. In English, you say cross your heart but in arabic we say salib salib it means cross it, because it comes from the word salib salib is a cross salib a cross salib okay the noun salib is the verb to make a cross to do a cross okay salib idak your hand or idik if you're talking to a girl okay salib idak a wujak or salve, if it's, it's a feminine word, if you're saying it to a girl, salve idik a wujik. Okay, cross your heart. All the parents say it a lot to their children, you know, when they just want to say, you know, just leave it to God, you know, trust God. If I'm traveling, my mom tells me, whether you know you're a believer or not, or they know you believe or you don't believe, they will always tell you these things, you know. She tells me, cross your heart and yalla, go do your work. And you know, when you travel, everything will be okay. Okay. So when you're going to kind of a new beginning or the unknown or something to the unknown, or they want to wish you good luck, they just say, leave it to God. That's why you have to cross your heart. That's masculine. If you're saying it to a guy, 
Talbi Idi Awajik, cross your hand on your face, literally. And in, in the plural, what should I say, Bahar? Sal. Sal. Salbu. 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 Eat con. Awaj con. Kirimni. Salbu. Eat con. Awaj con. Okay? Yani. Trust God and just go for it. And you're and they're wishing you good luck as well at the same time. So he's saying to him now, you just cross your heart, and everything will be okay. You are insured with all the things. Oh, don't worry. Yeah. He says to him in the end, he says, Abuna, our father. That's how you call the the the, the priest who prays in the church. Abuna, our father. Dakhlak. Dakhlak here translates as, by the way, Abuna, Dakhlak. Salait, did you pray? Salait, did you pray ah, on the whatever? He gave the name of the card. Let's say Al Mercedes. Sauda, did you pray on the black Mercedes? <laughs> so, which means, did you bless it, basically? So, Abuna, uh, our father. Dakhlak, by the way, Salait, did you pay Al Mercedes on the black? Uh, he, he gave another name of a car, but I'm not, I don't know what's a hatchback or whatever. The Mercedes is Sauda on the black car. And what's written there? Can you read it, Bahar? Birab Khan. I don't Birab Khan. Birab Khan. Rab is another word for Allah, which means God. When you say to someone, Birabbak or Birabbik, or Birabkun. Literally, you're saying in your God, which means like, please, like, please, I'm begging you. Birabbik Bahar, yani, enough already. Yani, I'm just begging you in a sarcastic way, kind of like, it's time already you do it. You know what I mean? Birabbak. For example, if I want to say to someone, Halas, shut up. I can say, Birabbak, Scott. Like, for you. Is your, it the same meaning of Bisharafik? Hey, bisharafak. Yes, like here is you're saying in the, like for the sake of your God, just shut up. For example, okay, birabkun here because they are addressing because the ad is addressed to all politicians basically. Salho, salho means repair in the plural. So the imperative form in the masculine is salih, salhe, salho, salih, salhe. Salho, repair masculine, repair feminine, repair plural. So, birabkun, please already. Salho, it should be. Tarat is zift. The damage. Zift. Zift. Yeah. The shit rose, basically. Why does it translate as shit? It's a play on words. Why? Because usually the, the streets are made of zift. Zift, you know, is the Asphalt, is it called in English? The, the black material that is that is on, on the streets. The, uh, the pitch, do you call it pitch? The asphalt, like the, what streets are made of? Asphalt, I think they say. In, in, hey, asphalt, and this one, and it's clear in the picture. You know, what yeah. is covering the Yeah, the street, top zifit. Of the street. It's called zifit. In Arabic, we call it zifit. But if something is very bad, if you in English you say it's shit, in Arabic you can say khara, which is shit, but you can also say zifit, yani very bad. Okay, so here they're playing on the words because they're saying fix the streets of asphalt, but they mean to say the shit streets which are very bad. Okay, so actually. <clears throat> It's very different when I say, I just realized it. I didn't realize it before. Here, they didn't say, They said, which is the streets of asphalt, which means the streets, because they are using the zifit as a noun. But if I say, I would be using zifit here as an adjective to imply shit, like the very bad streets. Okay, so salho at tarat is zifit or salho tarat is zifit. So this is like playing with words. Okay, <clears throat> let's play it one more time. I hope we didn't forget the vocab while we are doing this. Okay, 
But it's okay. Whoever's watching at home, if you feel you want to review the vocab, after we watch this ad once more, you can go listen to the vocab one more time before we listen to the dialogue. Okay. As for the uh, as for the vocabulary that I wrote here, of course I will put it in my notes as usual in the notes. I will record my voice and send them to you. Okay, Nyal. Actually, you know what? I'm going to record it now so we hear it slowly so that when we hear it in the ad, it becomes easier to spot. Okay? Yeah, I'm just going to uh, <clears throat> record the ones that are. Uh, uh, that are related to this ad. Yeah. So, Khelle Abit. يتأكد إذا دوت 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 let عبد make sure if دوت 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 خلي بهار تتأكد إذا وصلوا لغرار let بهار make sure if or that the stuff have arrived أوكي عشو خيفين or عشو خيف alright what are you scared about in the feminine form أوكي عشو خيفين or عشو خيفة تلا 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 it can mean go up in the masculine feminine and plural imperatives but it can mean also get on get in the car uh, or hop hop on the car hop on خي brother خي my brother but here when you say تلا خي literally get in the car he means in the ad تلا خي or get uh, get hop on brother or mate it can translate as mate Tertile is the hymn, the ones that we sing in the church, and the plural is tretil. Tertile, tretil. Nidr is like a vow you make uh, with a saint. For example, uh, if you want to succeed in something or pass your exams, you say, please let me pass in my exams. In, in return, I'm going to do something to the poor, for example. The adjective of it, your state, when you have a nidr, is Neder, for example, if you're a guy, you say Ana Neder, and if you're a woman, you say Ana Nedra, and then you mention the name of the saint, for example, Ana Nedra la for Saint Rita, or Ana Nedra la Mar Yusuf, Mar Sharb, the word Mar, we use it before the name of the saint, which means saint. Fi andak Marjuris, you have Marjuris, Saint George. Al Otostrad, on the highway. في كتير عجاء على الأوتوستراد اليوم. There is a lot of traffic jam on the highway today. سوء 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 drive in the masculine feminine plural. It's an imperative verb. If you want to say to a guy drive slowly, you have to say سوء عمهلك. سوء drive feminine عمهلك and سوء عمهلكن in the plural. أبونا our father. دخلك صليت على المرسيدس السوداء. By the way, did you pray on the black Mercedes? بربكن, literally, in your gods, which means for the sake of your gods. It's a way to say like, please already. It's about time you do it. Please. You're begging, but more in a sarcastic way. بربكن, صلحوا الطرقات الزفت. Fix the roads that are made of asphalt. But here there is a play on words because the word زفت also means very bad or shit. So when you say you're saying fix the very bad streets. Salih means fix in the imperative form, in the masculine, feminine, and plural. It's salih, salhi, and salhi. Insa means forget, insa. In the feminine form, you can say inse, and in the plural form, you can say inso. When I say insa, inse, or inso, it's different from the way we use it usually uh, in in normal life without the uh. if I say in sa or in si or in su without the uh, in sa, in si, and in su, I would just be uh, saying forget in si or in su. But if I say in sa, in si or in su, there is a little hidden connotation which means ah, oh, forget about it, it's not going to happen, or don't worry about it, or something like that. It's not really literally forget about something. It's a way to say, don't worry about it. Don't give importance to something. Or 
as well, forget it, it's never going to happen. These three meanings. But if I just say nsa without nsa, I'm really saying to someone, forget, or nsi, or nsu. Now, salib is a cross, but we have a verb for it, salib, which means as a verb, cross, salib, idak, awajjak. Cross your hand on your face, which means cross your heart. Do the cross sign on your heart. Salbe idik awajjik in the feminine form and in the plural, salbu idkun awajjkun. Yalla, I'm going to add these to, to, the, to the folder, the audio, so you can listen to it. Yalla, let's listen one last time before we listen to our dialogue. Hello? Hello? Kurt, I'm going to give you a sedan car. Yes. Full insurance, Akid. Uh, what is your religion, Kurt? Excuse me? Religion. Um, Christian, Muslim. I'm Christian. Okay. I have the perfect car for you. This is your car. This is part of your insurance. At night, there is no street light. No problem. Saint Rita will light the roads for you. If you have Marjorie's, uh, Saint George, if you're driving on autostrad, drive and don't think about potholes, my potholes. He will protect you. And if you feel lost, there are no signs. No signs. Ensa signs. Mar Antonio Selbedwene. He will find the way for you. Salib ida kawaja. Don't worry. Yal. Okay, actually he said Mercedes is Sauda Yelle a Zewye memorize Yelle a Zewye, which is on the corner, we say in Arabic, which means in the corner. We can also say Bizewye or a Zewye Yelle a Zewye, which is in the corner. Zewye, yani corner. Okay.